Hey, what's up? This is Soldier Knows Best here, and this is a demonstration of my all time favorite application for the Mac called ScreenFlow. Now, ScreenFlow just came out with a brand new 2.0 version of this great software, which I use on about 95% of my videos. And actually, I'm using it right now to shoot this video. It's very powerful, very easy to use, and this update brings a lot of new features to it and also makes it run a little bit faster since now it is fully compatible with Snow Leopard. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it, some of the newer 2.0 features that you'll see in the new version of ScreenFlow. So, now, if this is your first time ever looking at screen flow here it is it's a very nice and clean simple interface very easy to navigate and what we're going to focus on today is the timeline let me go ahead and make the timeline a little bit bigger for you all right so here in the timeline uh, basically uh, right here at the bottom let me move this up all right, right here at the bottom, this is my eyesight. So ScreenFlow not only captures your screen or whatever you're doing on your desktop, but also your eyesight or whatever camera you got hooked up to your, your Mac and also the audio, with which whatever microphone you're using. So um, one of the cool things you can do now, kind of what you can find in iMovie, you can actually detach the audio from your video clip. So you can go ahead and right click on there and detach the audio. And now you can go ahead and start editing with just the audio or you're going to edit with just the video. And this is good if you're going to be doing a little bit more complicated editing to make it uh, a little less uh, cluttered when you start editing stuff. Um, also, say I want to add a, uh, a picture to this. So I'm going to go ahead and drag in this picture. ScreenFlow, you can drag in the picture straight from a desktop or whatever folder you want to and drag it and drop it right in ScreenFlow. Now, normally when I do this, this is how the picture normally is just going to pop up in my screencast. Show your appreciation for it and we'll probably Boom. The, uh, okay, the just like that in your face. Robert. Now, if I wanted to make that just a little bit better, a little bit you know, more cool as far as the transition, you can right click on this section of the clip and choose to add a starting or ending transition. So I'm going to add a starting transition. So this happens at the beginning when this clip comes in. And you can choose from a wide range of transitions here. It has about 12 or 14 or so. And I'm going to choose the, let me choose a plane effect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this transition or this picture is gonna come in to my screencast. Show your appreciation for it and we'll probably name it the- uh, Okay, the like that. So it's, an, it's a nice little effect. And it's a little things that matter. But say that went a little too fast for you, you can also choose to drag and, and expand this transition to make it go just a little bit slower or a lot slower. So you can see right now, now it's going to come in and it's definitely about 50% slower than it was the first time. So that's good as far as adding no transitions to that. Um, and let me see what else I'm going to show you here. Also, just like you can, you can actually lock the clip down or lock a clip down. And I'm using this a lot because in ScreenFlow, once you start moving pieces, moving pictures and stuff around, it can actually throw your screencast off if you're not careful. You can move something out of place, out of whack. Now, if you say you're working with, say I'm working with the audio section of my eyesight here and I'm done messing with it. I don't want anything else to happen to it. You can choose to lock it, lock it in place. So now you can't move it at all. You can't move it around. You can't affect it at all. So that's good. And just unlock it when you're ready to start messing around with it. Um, and also now, this is what's going to cut down a lot of my time. You, you can now publish your screencast directly to YouTube. So you go ahead and go to the file menu. When you're ready and done with your um, your video here, and go down here to the file menu, hit publish to YouTube, and go ahead and sign into your account. And then it'll bring up the same type of menu where as far as you can choose your category that you wanted to go to, in my case, science and technology, you can make the title for it, you can change the description, you can add some tags, you can make it a private movie so you can look at it before you make it public. And also you can choose to have a quality go directly published straight in HD to give you the best looking screen flow presentation on YouTube. So um, this is really going to cut down the time for me. So um, it has some other things. You can do color correction. I'm not going to make this video long, but you can do color correction. I got a little list over here too. Um, action curves, you can do document packages is basically when you import. So you saw me just import that picture now. And before this 2.0 update, if I was to close or, um, uh, delete or move that picture off my computer or off the original source while I'm still working on the screencast, you're not going to be able to edit anymore. Okay. That picture is not going to be available for you anymore. So now once you move any media over here to it, it actually creates a little screen, um, screen flow folder just for that document. It will saves all that stuff in there. So you can detach your external hard drive and still be able to edit your stuff on the go or whatever you're doing. Um, audio ducking. That's always good. You can also now choose to, um, pause or, fast forward or, we, or make it your part of your video clip or your audio clip go real slow. So right now you hear me just, there I am just talking normal. I can choose to go ahead and right click on this. Okay, I'm down to audio. Right click on the video and choose add a freeze frame. Now, when I add this freeze frame, I'm gonna make it a little bit, uh, a little bit longer here. Okay, so now when I go to the store and start playing this video here, you'll see my just freeze and that's not a good look. It would pause on that one. <laughs> anyway, um, there it is right there. 
and so it'll add a freeze frame but also you can choose to make it some some things going slow motion or fast forward um mm, let me see i think that's about it there's a they have a list of all the new things but the other big things again like i said snow leopard support and also support for multi-core cpus so it's gonna be able to take advantage of my new 27 inch imac which has four cores whenever it comes in and uh, be able to use that and make it everything go a lot faster and smoother so ScreenFlow 2.0 is right out right now you can buy a brand new out the box for 99 bucks so it's 100 bucks i do think they still have an education store we may chop off about 10 to 15 dollars or so you can check that out but also if you already have ScreenFlow, you can upgrade to it just for 29 bucks and i think it is a worthy upgrade so go ahead and check that out right now but this is the social knows best here and i thanks for watching i'll catch you later Oh, one quick thing before I end this video with my signature outro. If you want to get more tips and tricks on how to use ScreenFlow from the basic to some of the more cooler techniques you can do with it, you can find some videos on ScreenFlow's website, or you can actually go to some fellow YouTubers on here, Macintosh Tips. They got a website, MacintoshTips.com, and also on their YouTube channel, they have about I think four or so, or they got a good amount of videos showing you how to use ScreenFlow from the basics to some of the the more cool things you can do with it. I know I just went over some of this the new 2.0 features. So if you want to get some more heads up on that, go check out either of those two places, and I'll get you a little bit further along with ScreenFlow as far as the basics. All right, back to my little uh, outro there. Peace.